And I'm sure you've seen some of the images of the galaxies as they've been seen by NASA's new James Webb Telescope. In some way, it gives us a whole new way to look at the universe. Some of the scientists say that they're now showing us images that come literally from the dawn of time. As I understand it, because of the way that light works and travels, well, while this is the new big thing in science at the moment, the big feature of the next few years is probably going to come to be data from the Square Kilometre Array, which, of course, is based here in the Northern Cape. Takalani Namangani is the Chief Director of Astronomy at the Department of Science and Innovation. Takalani, good afternoon to you. Firstly, as a South African who's an astronomer, I'm sure you've been looking at the images from the new telescope. They look amazing. How important are they actually scientifically? Yes, these images are are very important uh, because they uh, kind of signal uh, the start of uh, science uh, operations and uh, uh, because behind these uh, pictures it's uh, a huge amount of scientific data you know which then allows uh, astronomers uh, to begin to uh, you know to do research and uh, uh, understand and study the universe you know uh, with much more information uh, but also, it just shows that uh, uh, this telescope uh, is uh, exceeding uh, expectations, uh, I mean, in terms of its design, but also in terms of the amount of investment that has been made. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, uh, you know, amazing. Are they going to sort of change the way, is the telescope going to change the way we understand the universe? I mean, even how perhaps it was created? Yes, I mean, it just shows uh, how much little we know about our universe because uh, this telescope just reveals more and more uh, galaxies, you know, that uh, exist uh, out there, uh, but also, you know, uh, giving us much more detail and, and more clearer uh, pictures and information, you know, about, um, you know, our universe. Um, the Square Kilometre Array, uh, most of it's based in the Northern Cape. What kind of research is it actually conducting at the moment? I mean, it, it is a massive, massive facility. Yes, actually this, uh, of course, reminds us of our own uh, uh, Mirkat telescope, uh, uh, you know, in the Northern Cape, um, you know, which has got 64 um, uh, dishes and has been doing great, uh, you know, scientific uh, operations as well. You will remember back in 2018, we also launched our first image of the black hole, the clearest image at the time, you know, was uh, uh, released when we were launching our Mirkal tel telescope, which is uh, going to be integrated into the SKA. Um, <clears throat> and uh, actually, almost on a monthly basis, you know, there are new scientific uh, discoveries of what the telescope uh, you know, is bringing a lot of data. Of course, the difference between uh, this one, uh, as you know, James Webb is a space-based telescope, which is now, I think, entered the sun orbit, you know. It's almost a million miles now away from us, uh, whereas, of course, our telescope, the SKA, will be more of a ground-based uh, telescope. Uh, but, yeah, of course, I mean, there will be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, similar similarities, of course, and in terms of the science uh, you know, that is being undertaken. Um, a lot of astronomy, so you get the new equipment, you get a few pictures, and then actually you need to do quite a lot of patient work. Is that where we are with the SKA at the moment? There's a lot of data that needs to be gone through, computers probably need to process it, and only after a while you start to get the breakthroughs. No, no, exactly. You know, because it's huge amounts of data, you need a lot of supercomputing, you know, analyzing uh, uh, the data and ultimately uh, what you want to, you know, you want to have is a scientific paper, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, shows exactly what you have seen, what you have discovered and what is a new understanding that you have brought and, 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 and so on. But we're already doing that in South Africa with the Mirka telescope. I mean, there's been quite a number of scientific papers already, uh, you know, that are coming through. <clears throat> Yeah, but as you say, you know, this is amount of work that um, even the next generations, I mean, will still be sifting through. Uh, it just depends on what exactly are you looking for. You know, whether you are actually studying, let's say, the exoplanets or you're studying the stars 
or you're studying the galaxies or whatever, you know, a phenomenon that you are studying there, you know, you, you know, you, you have to go through all this data and to be able to make sense of, 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 of what you're looking at. Takalani Namangani, thank you, Chief Director of Astronomy at the Department of Science and Innovation. I do appreciate it.